open sesame. Hey, that's what I say. Oh god, that is really creepy. <laughs> she didn't say all that. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. That's <laughs> shenanigans. What the hell is this? There's gonna be shenanigans soon. But we still have two, two pictures to take. Don't freak out. More survivalist supplies. Man, oh man. What's with the press? Water supplies. Probably water. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. What? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. As Nathan's primary psych, uh, psychiatr uh, psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan. I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Bass Dr. Jacoby. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Can you imagine chilling in this room? No. Oh, God. Nathan's work? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Hmm. Yikes. Oh, that son of a bitch. Stormbreaker bunker. Jesus. Sean Prescott. Okay. One by three mil. Psh, pennies. Oops. Talk about tortured. Jesus, I already hate this place. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want you to fulfill our destiny. <laughs> that day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. What the hell, man? No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? What's wrong with his father? Like... Um, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen, teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you or you're on your own. What is up, man? What is up? Use. Let's see Yo. what's in here. Oh my god. No. Let's see what's in here. Turn off. Oh my god. No. Oh my god.
Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but <gasps> it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. Ooh, God, I should have wow. killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Oh. Right? Chloe, look at her face. Oh. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload I of cash I to do this. Else. She oh probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my God, Rachel, Kate, all these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What? What happened to her? Sorry, what? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Yeah, but he's in the shot, so there's the other. Someone's taking the picture, you know what I'm saying? Kate looks so doped up. She, she has no really idea well. she's being That art looks really good. Like, you can see the expression on the face. They nailed it. At least it. Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. And it looks like the models, but it's painted, you know? Wow. That's really messed up and creepy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be right there, Chloe. There could be other evidence. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Hmm. So who's using this fancy tripod? Hmm. Better not be night when I get upside, upside, up to the top, upside. These newspapers upstairs. are all about Rachel and Kate. Better, better not be nighttime. Safe from the root. Somebody likes their whiskey. What? Um, Principal Wells? What? This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Oh my god. Oh god, that's actually, that's really nasty. Uh, Chloe? Chloe? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I know this isn't the time, maybe, but through the, through the barn. I don't know. I feel like this is the end. Oh, to the, go to the junkyard. Oh, jeez, it's gonna be nighttime. Okay, it's not nighttime. It's not nighttime. More safe. More safe. <laughs> oh my God.
my eyes are starting to burn. <laughs> They're getting real, not burned dry. They're very dry right now. We can do this. I'll do it tomorrow at work. <laughs> 9 a.m. call. <laughs> Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. This is the escalation. This is an escalation. Know, rapid. Exactly this is a rapid going. fire. Close your ear. The music starting. And it's just gonna bam. It's gonna smack you in the face. I'm calling the teacher. I'm Look, just gonna say it now. It. If this it's gonna it. happen, it's gonna happen. It's gonna have. It's gonna be the cliffhanger. Are you gonna help me, Max? What? Chloe, stop! This would sort of shock me Look. if this is. If they actually find her here. Please no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have called it. Oh. Oh no. <gasps> is smell. it? Smell. Oh. No. No, Rachel, no, no. Is it? Not no way. I would have called something different there for our chapter five. Up Holy by the, like maybe up on the hills or something. Wow. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? You. What kind of world does this? <laughs> hmm. Is that the end? That's how it ends? Oh! Ghost deer. Is Rachel the deer? It's not Max? That wasn't the end. That's just... We still got a part. Oh, it's nighttime. So the moon. Peace. Oh, the party. It's a quick scene. I mean, I feel like this one's gonna be quick too. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. You literally Rachel wanted us found to the body. So we could get real justice. I Only mean, much. the Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Oh. Beautiful. I don't give a oh, shit. I, the oh. world is ending. Cool. You're not she listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. It's like a convergence of two different realities, maybe. Out of sync. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> what do you mean, has he? <laughs> if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. Oh, jeez. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? Well, I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world. Oh, jeez. So I want to have oh, something. We can return like back here. Take a picture. For prosperity. Yeah, yeah. Well, and a return trip. I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Who's going to make her freak out? Action. 
Okay. Oh, We've got important? no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Chloe, Sorry. you understand. This is important. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. You won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text yeah. soon. <sighs> I should probably drink some water. We're still going. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're gonna make a uh, the winner, the selection of the winner. Yeah, that's 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 the narrative signal right there. No, I didn't mm -hmm. see any tablet with cat There's gonna be a, that's gonna be the trigger point. So I'm gonna go shit. Okay, Chloe. Since I was where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is what? kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, oh, I didn't go get that's myself what ready. Here for. Stella, enter. Wait, Stella. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Oh. Oh, jeez. What are you talking about? Just what girl? She had blue hair? blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. What? <laughs> Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. Oh, I bet you I, I missed the photo aside turns out the moons. In the Stomping on me. Well, I was thinking Stella you, stars. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Look at some sharks. Can I go back out? I'm just gonna try to go back out real quick. No, because Chloe's inside. Let's try some other Why options. Why does Nathan creep you out? She says. He should. I, I just want your reasons. I'm not He's not a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Oh Glazed and raging. Devil. He no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw okay. that. I'm here for the job. Anything unusual? Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Yep. Yes, I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. Oh. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Okay, we can always go into collection mode if it's outside. The moon thing. But, let's see where this goes. And I'll go from there. I love this song. But, it's actually a good party. Fate. Shirt. Wow, destiny theme goes right through the chapter, right to the end. Like decisions can't change or there's paths. Yeah, but then Samuel says there's multiple paths, right? Now you've seen two moons. So I'm thinking like time is getting all messed up and there's some shenanigans afoot with her. I wonder if every time she does it, like a different knot. Like the moons just starts to like do a, like <laughs> this guy go. We it's, need uh, to find Nathan and take him down. It starts getting worse and worse. The vortex thing is cool. This party needs a drone. Hey, Brooke. Is she mad Warren asked me out? 
Sigh. Hello, Brooke. Max, <laughs> I didn't expect going. to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Jeez. Oh, enough. Yeah, for real. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies. But you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. You go to the movies I with him too, man. Things don't go Pick a my day. Way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. Oh, You're not geez. selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. No. <laughs> Check to uh, see if no. you can fly. Uh. <laughs> Hey, by the Only way. with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. No, the other people were looking so at it. So are we, like, Max. Was I the only one who so saw let's it? let's plan a drone Max? date next week. Oh, that's nice. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Oh, there's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Hey, Luke. I just wish someone would kick Old days. <laughs> Luke, well, I'm dead. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? <laughs> An introvert at a party. I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody wow. finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires oh. out of town. Sure, why not? I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. Hmm. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Hmm. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, she just rolls you. with it. But for helping great. Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Bigfoot on otter action. Oh, no. Oh. No! <laughs> no! Oh, shit. I was like, wait for it. Wait, I was stop this shit. I'm stop this. That finishes. How do I oh warn? There we go. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. <laughs> she just yeah, I'll listen to whatever you say. Oh, they didn't mean to do it. I thought they meant to do it. My object angel is stuffed up every single time. Protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. Are there sharks in the water? Oh. Anybody? Anybody else want to talk? VIP only. Okay. Hey, man. What's I'm up? I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Jump in. Huh? Wait, are they looking at me? Wait a minute, they are. Are they for real? Are they looking? Hold on. <laughs> is it? The, oh, the DJ is, is it? DJ? Wait, what? Were they saying woohoo, Max? Oh, they are. Hey. Hey, by the way, hold on. Can I go to the other side? This guy's just provoking him until 
<laughs> for real? That's what you're doing, huh? All night, huh? All night long. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I go on this side? Can I go on this side? I can't run. Oh, they say no running on that. Okay, fair enough. Follow the rules, Max. Are you going to say I don't want to go this way? Oh. Okay. Are they still looking at me? <laughs> don't look at me, creepos. After God. all this, Rachel is dead. Okay. That's right. That just happened. I shouldn't be having fun. That was a weird place to put that. I would have put that at the end of something and then did a whammy with it. Because it's just... Well, I mean, I guess it the contrast sets this scene up. But it's just like, it was a pretty dark scene. All of that was really dark. And then it gets to this, it's like, everyone's partying, you know? I'm sure that's going to now... It's leading to something. But I... Uh, it seems yes, tonally, like it's so quickly, so. it's so back to back, you know? Would you say sorry, Max? I was distracted yes, with myself. You do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay. Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? Ah, I'll wait. Okay, I know right. that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Glow sticks. I'll take some glow sticks. What no. would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hold on. How do I... She said something, but why is she not watching the list? Oh. Oh, I know the detail of Courtney, so I can say, like, Courtney asked me to take over or something like that. Maybe. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, but I'm going in. No? Let's go further back? Probably. Fine, then. Back, do you want to go? Oh, are you gonna knock her in the pool? By accident? I guess that's not it. Excuse me, we're going in. Excuse do you me, but I'm going in. No, that's not what I wanted to do. What? Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh. What are you doing in here? Super, super max lives. Not anymore. That knocking. <gasps> Skeleton. Photo. Oh, no. That I'm was a good one. That was, that was smart. Still. Hold on, so I missed the moon. This could be an interesting shot. <laughs> that was fun. I was gonna wait for Steve. I was like, there's still a board left, because I gotta get the Steve. Okay, we have uh let's read some of this. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet. Yeah, excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all of our fates. I've never had much faith. Not the Kate, not the Kate Marsh kind anyways, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week, but I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I shouldn't have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird, secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was evil ground zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. Well, I, when I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was going on. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posing conscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber, delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over nathan like some kind of sick goth couple i couldn't bear to look at chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel i felt a uh, keyword angel repeating here i felt 
nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. That sentence is weird to me. We finally found Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel, I'm sorry. Chloe, I'm sorry. Kate, I'm sorry. William, fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. Fuck do they know. Tell that to Rachel Amber or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and harsh. She won't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're, but we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible. So I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber that will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover and nothing is going to stop us now. Not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of poor Warren Fast, who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger. So bizarro, so bizarro to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes talking and laughing and smoking and drinking. As if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party or the town wasn't in eco danger. I think it's maybe a little bit more complicated. There's one extra step there. What? But I just. Oh, and the skater. That's why the skeleton and the skater. Does it go like this? Did I miss this? Might have been. It's either outside or it could have been at the pool party. Were there windows in the pool party? I can maybe go back. Well, hold on. Let this happen. Uh, slideshow. <laughs> I just want to see how it looked. That's cool. Uh, anyways. Let's keep going a little bit, I guess. Justin's just a little buzzed. Who's talking back here? Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave you want to get ripped uh you look pretty ripped already justin and not happy why did you even come tonight where else could i go in arcadia bay on a Stay thursday the world. night besides dana is here just not with me oh so yes this party sucks you're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. Oh. When I saw them together, oh, he came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Oh. Just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but. Your face looks so fucking intense. You're high, dude. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm I'm cool, Justin. And I have Jesus. to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. Not near the water. You're right. I'm only torturing myself. So go to the water. Plus, I'm too loaded. Jesus. It's time to get my board and grind. Okay then. What? what? I'm trying to find. The tide is turning. The tide, the t or time. Exit the vortex club. Are there windows in here? I doubt it. It's a bathroom. Post it. Sure. I'd like to tear every I one of these things down. Kill the Prescotts. Whoa. Chloe must be around. Oh. She. Oh. Guy. Just guy. Good night, sweet Hello, prince. Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes, oh. you've been vomiting for like an hour. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Maybe you're not or the only both. one who has to get sick. Ugh, Max. Bruh. Boo. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then from here. Hold on. Can we talk to him again? Can I? No. And you won't let me go God, through. Are you mental? You can't come in. I feel like I need to rewind something. I need to go. I need to go find out. Speak. I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, I didn't talk to you. Uh, did you? Alyssa, 
I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section. Working on like it. It's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. <laughs> Guardian Angel. Good luck. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to talk. <laughs> Didn't think you'd come back. <laughs> Jesus. Look at this. Poor I'm at my first and only vortex. Freaking out all her life now. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate so, most of them. Got a roach on her shirt. Oh. I don't want that to be Victoria your Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you Spirit like animal. she does me. She's a survivor. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. Resilient. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. <laughs> you kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Mm. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Two thanks for decision. not cringing. Decisions. And thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Did I get everyone? Yes, I I, like I'm I... back. You scared me. I feel like <laughs> the Dodge comment is funny. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. That's nice. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Mm. Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Um, but I actually have to go now. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. All right, let's, let's uh, back this way. <gasps> Principal oh. Wells should have canceled this party, but he was paid off. Photo, the two moons. Curiosity always works out. Yeah, Shatterbug. Courtney. Hey, Courtney, how are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, I'm you sorry. still get special access I to got the busy. Vortex Club VIP lounge. Perfect. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Oh my now, gosh. let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Wow. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just. Uh, oh my God, oh. you're done, and you're off the list permanently. <sighs> Welcome to the Vortex Club. What a mess. Moon? I need a moon picture. I need one more picture. Please don't be outside. I can redo it. I can redo this. I can do flexion mode. Bitch. <clears throat> in the water. Is that a chair in the water? Yep. Wait. How did they put the whole life tap? <laughs> okay. Oh, I could have talked to her first to see what she said. How about this? Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Well, Chloe, how did Chloe get in? Wait, how did Chloe get in? Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me and to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought 
buy some school work books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me soon as you can. Find me something. Yo, Supermax! Come hang with us. We need our hero. Everyone is so fake. Give me a break. I always love talking with my ladies. Uh. Is it me? Or is everybody here all fuzzy? Wow. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? Uh, I, I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? <laughs> no. Again, I ask. I want to find Nathan. <laughs> me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. Uh oh. I hope. What do you mean by that? Party? You actually planned a party at the party? Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? Escalation. I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you can sit down and take a quick hit. Uh. Oh yeah, sure. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your hey. last party? Oh. Listen, Hayden. Just Yikes. watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Okay. Okay, then. Someone look after her. She's wasted, oh. and nobody is looking out for her. Oh no! That's nobody all. learns at Blackwell. No. What's this guy? Taylor. How's it going, Taylor? Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, Taylor. Well, look at it go. I'm not Have you seen Nathan Good yet? Man. No, Nathan. that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Uh, How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Uh, fun, but pretty obviously he one. doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. Make but when Kate was on the, the roof, Club, I, I knew I'd gone too far. <laughs> Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So... You should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. Oh my god. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best oh. to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. That always gets She's doing side. great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Oh. <laughs> Oxygen kit. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Wow. That's why it's a VIP room. Just get everyone and just get a backup. Uh, look at this thing. Chips and crackers. Chips and crackers. There are no yeah, yeah. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. That's not your shirt. Yeah, then you can see that. Oh. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Victoria, yeah. Should I warn her? No, Logan, you're not getting sure, any anything. action tonight. Ew. Or even a oh, I Can I talk to you for a second? Real fucking no, Max! Yeah, well, Alright! Wow. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Have you seen no, Nathan? No. I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Wow. Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. 
I'll let you ever want to see me, Max. You're so cute, and we never really talk. Time to go. <laughs> Logan, you're such a dick. You bailed on Dana when just, she was just straight up. Right when she needed you Let's most. Drop it, drop those bombs. Now you're trying to mac on me? Are you proud of yourself? Bro, you are giving me the full body tackle. Wow. I already feel like an ass for flaking on Dana. Uh, how can I be an undick now? Wow. You could start by not trying to sex up every female in front of you. The rest is your choice. Jesus. Use it well, bro. Oh, and don't ever touch Daniel DaCosta again. You will regret it. Now, excuse me. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. <laughs> Catch you later, Max. Oh, fucking guy. Dana Trevor. Okay, I feel like this might interrupt something. Let's do it. Here's the queen bee. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Go fuck Sorry. yourself. I'm on the guest list. Come down, come down. I'm taking come you off. Go fuck yourself. Yay! Yeah, I don't have time selfie. for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day, do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Uh, um. Okay. Uh. No, I am. Oh, I will. I rewind this. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow, are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, Ooh. right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Ooh. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. Oof. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? Yeah, I'm a teenager down. at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Wow. You have talent. Jefferson. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were mm. just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. Mm. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Well, you're not making you're not making it easy, you know. Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. <laughs> if we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might uh, be right. No. Well, no. Max Caulfield, Don't agree with there's that. still time for you to get in the Vortex still Club. time. I actually hope so, oh, Victoria. Yeah, Why do you say it like that? Because it's the, the, it's the end of the world. Oh, I will. Fuck it. I can rewind. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your see what happens. friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Oh, Jesus. Nice try, Max. Oh, but geez. I don't believe you. Okay. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to you make Kate want to die. she should have stole the die. photos. Then she'd have and I think proof. you're next. Max, that is crazy. Oh, Nathan she could is have like taken one a picture of, of those friends. binders. Yes, he takes serious meds. Done. But that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. Little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. <laughs> Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Okay. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, yeah, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. 
Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have well, other people me. I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Not Max. Not that jackass. Over if what there. you said is true, then you be careful, too. Well, that's nice. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. See? I will. That wasn't so hard. Thanks, Victoria. She had to get some hard words there. Sometimes that's what's required. You gotta lay it on hard. I did end the scene, so I've, I've, I've missed some people. I haven't talked to some people. I, I thought that might happen. Oh, we still have a chance. Oh, Maybe there's about. hope yet for Victoria and me. Okay, okay. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Hey, you dance worse than my dad. I'm glad Dana ended yes. up with Trevor. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. We're working on it. Hold on. Yay, Stop. Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen there. Nathan around? Hell no, <laughs> I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. Oh. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging <laughs> with Trevor what? and his skater what were you No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. Did you even know you burned me? The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I love that Trevor doesn't <laughs> care how goofy he dances I in the VIP section. You. Exactly. The Vortex Club he always looked like he was out of DJ balance. Do for the party. I'm like, I do, are you doing that on purpose? That VIP <laughs> section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't let no me. No more box. Who pays for all this shit? I feel selfish going to a party after this week. Dude, Nick and Prescott is totally spun out. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just so like Juliet it's literally Zachary just right in their space. She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. Jesus. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, oops. Oh, sit. Yeah, sure. Oh, even oh, though, like, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Yourself. Wait, where's this going? What? Oh, that's... Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do want to see what this... Here, let's, let's sit down. They should have put that Victoria stuff right at the end of this, so that Sweet the flow. Kate almost dead. I thought I heard some weird Rachel shit right dead. there. Enter the vortex. Club. Yeah, so that you could have these moments before Look at the these scene. Entitled ends. assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. Well. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Well, he's wearing his beer sweater. Beer. Just zoning out. Thinking about fate. Okay. That's enough. Gotta get back to Chloe. Let's see if she killed Nathan. Chloe. Chloe, did you kill Nathan? Oh. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. 
Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Nope. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, okay, that might be a, a lead-in. I'm almost on. For yeah, one of the, like, like creating, a, like, an alt or something. Did I do that right? Because I thought I clicked on the door to like exit. Okay, but... okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, guess I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of Make the Everyday drop in with some silliness. Before what? I do, I this want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody right. who thought about entering. Oh, she wants to leave. Now this is the most oh, important step in being an artist. For Max. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. Yeah, it'd be Victoria then, right? Because As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. I don't know anything is. else in the story that would have given any other... Oh my, what a shocker. Yeah, okay. Victoria Chase. Did you booing? Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also I want like to thank all to your the name, students fame. for being so dedicated in their pursuit. Pay attention to the end. And I'd all like the time. to dedicate this prize oh. to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday oh, hero nice. of Blackwell, and I can't wait Victoria for her to come back. Oh, Thank you. Nice. Could have been dark. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> what the? Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Is that what happened? Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay. Well, that was a weird scene. That's gonna lead into something. I think that there's that that photo we took is gonna be important. Oh Christ! Nathan just and texted it's allow me. Us. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Huh. Shit! We have to go to the junkyard right oh, now. Oh, that's it. That's the end. Yeah, because that one's all loopy. That one's all flip, f f ah, fucked up. That. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? I think that was like some sort of convergence, but that's making me think about something I, I might have talked about early on. Just time, time right. travel things, you know. Just get ready to use your rewind like fast. In the first episode, the where, you know, this my whole this whole thing might be a, 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 a some other loop or some, you know, what I mean? like I don't know. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's dark. This is gonna fuck. That's really late. <laughs> oh, oh god. All right, no jump scares, please. All right, there was a. Uh... Maybe we should have called the police. Right? Oh God, flashlight ways. They're looking. No, I'm not good. This is not good. Max, stay close so we can be a team. Chloe. Chloe, I'm sorry. I was wandering. I don't know why I did this. Hold on, hold on, before I go any further. <laughs> I need to, uh... <clears throat> read this. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too. Except... Chloe didn't see anything. 
besides vengeance. Okay. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party, flashing lights and DJ Doom. No comment. <laughs> Spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have uh, been the limits of my power. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan before she shot him. Now, no matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she actually just... She's actually just a terrible, insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. I have to see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this, too. She So we talked like human beings, and I warned her with those specifics about Nathan. She believed me, and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous enemy. Now she's your frenemy. A, silver, a sliver of light in all this darkness. Let there be more. Let there be light. I'm sorry, Rachel. Okay. Oh God, it isn't that thing. I want to know. Oh God, that's you horrible. Up there, Max? Hold on. What? What did you say? Listen, where did we go and find the body? Can I just? I would like to go see that first. I probably don't need to. Dude, don't leave me behind. <laughs> I can't think you're guiding me. I think this is might be the way for the, the game to say, hey, pacing. We're trying to do pacing here. This is not exploration time. What? Wait, are you behind me or standing? Are you right there? Okay, you're right. Let's just let's just follow it. We're not searching nothing here. I'm here, I'm here. Fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Oh. Please. Wait, do you want me to go? Or, I mean, I'd like to. Yeah, let, wait. Go, are you coming with me? Oh, you're doing that thing where you're just wandering off? Rachel. Is that how you want to do this? Oh, Rachel. Oh, Jesus. I went the complete wrong direction there. Let the story guide you. Oh, oh. Oh, my axe is going to be tense as fuck. Like we before sleep. And over. Uh -huh. <gasps> God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. Oh, we could go die, wrong. okay? Something's gonna go wrong here. You should have called the cops. Deer? That ghost deer has messed me up though now, because like Max, please hurry! It sort of sort sort of throws off the uh what I was going with the animals, right? Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. I mean it still could be Max oh. Don't look, Chloe. It still could be Max's. Ew. Oh! No. Chloe! Look how. What the fuck? Oh! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Wowzer! Oh, when she won't be able to reverse because she's all fucked up now. Chloe. Convergence. Yeah, there he is. How'd it be? And there it is. That went real dark. <laughs> Dark room achievement. That's why the pacing mattered. I had to move fast through that. Uh, it was very disorienting. But I had to leave that moment. But that was a, uh, it was a juxtaposition of things that happened in that short period of time in that third act. It was jarring in in uh, the way that I yeah that I talked about the way that. Um, it was super like it hit hard with the whole just like I mean because I was sort of I didn't think that they'd I didn't think that's where they'd find the body I mean it makes the junkyard scene more important the fact that they had that area together that's more narratively but then it's like who who bear like 
why did they take her and why did they bury her there like there might be a connection there i mean or they're just getting rid of the body right someone was so i don't know if like i mean we at the prescott uh uh nathan is definitely attached but i think it's more like he's um i think they're all they're both connected somehow um uh, i think that bunker is not nate i mean i think it's sean prescott's but i think it's something i think this uh jefferson is attached to there because uh unless those cameras are self-taking cameras but i'm i'm gonna go on the assumption that that was staged and someone else took those pictures and I think it'd be more like the Jefferson. There was comments about uh, Jefferson's photography style in the first uh, chapter as well, first episode. I always forget if they called chapters episode. I don't. Um, that he had a bit of that angle to him too. So that was a bit of a seed. Uh, I did record a vlog that I shared. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't put it public yet. I'm going to do it after. I'm going to. Well, now it. It, it probably doesn't matter. Because the vlog it would make a lot more sense now if I could sh I would share it now but I recorded it cert earlier just to give uh, people a breakdown of my episode one um, because a lot of there was a lot of hidden subtext there was a lot of subtext in the very very first few minutes of the game that uh, sort of painted out the five chapters to me how the details played out I wasn't sure how they would land one of them being the Rachel piece I was going somewhere else with the Rachel piece. Not too much further, but I thought she was buried maybe near the light tower or something. She was buried up in that, on that pathway. And that's why the deer first showed up there. And I thought the deer was the guide that was, it was guiding uh, Maxine to the body or something. That there was something that it was a mystery for her to discover near the light tower. But then the light tower being important to Chloe, maybe the light tower does sim it's it's more symbolic of it's like a more of a, a beacon uh, that was another key word that was mentioned at one point there was a beacon there that draws there's some nexus of activity that happens maybe at, in that area i mean the, the 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 whirlwind happens at the light tower so it's still gonna be important it's, it's still gonna be very important to the story i think it's going to this story will end at the light tower in some regard we know that because a storm is going to happen, but I think there's going to be like a there's going to be a meaningful moment is going to happen at the light tower. Uh, you end up taking uh, Chloe to the beach. I think it's going to be Chloe, the light tower. Um, uh, the deer is still important because the deer is in the snow globe, you know, and it's at Chloe's house. So I feel like Chloe's the actual nexus. Like Chloe is the it's not it's not even about Maxine. Maxine's uh, inherited some power from some for whatever's going on but i don't think it's that maxine had the power and then all this stuff is happening to chloe no i think the story is revolving around chloe she is a nexus of some sort of activity or some sort of triggered event and maxine has come almost come back from seattle she's come back to arcadia to, to balance out the chaos to balance out that whirlwind from 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 kicking off and the whirlwind is chloe because you know i'm associating her to chaos at this point and she's there's this generated chaos around her and uh and that generated chaos the blue the butterfly the chaos effect the chaos theory you know the flapping of a, of a butterfly's wings uh one second creates a, a, a whirlwind uh in, 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 in the wings the wind that the a butterfly moves in the flapping of its wings i forget how the quote goes or the concept goes but that the wind that gets moved eventually becomes part of a hurricane right so i think that is the that's the central aspect of this that's undeniable to me at this point. Maxine is a control factor uh, for the balance of the world. She comes back and she it's and that's more like trying to control the chaos. And then how does Rachel fit in? I don't she's just part of the chaos. I thought she was more gonna she was gonna be more of a symbolic like center point. But I don't know. She might still be, but I don't know. I think this chapter sort of places her as no, she was just friend. She was friends. She was uh, in a relationship with um, Frank, you know, and it was legitimate. It was, but it was kind of, you know, it went sour, but it was a legitimate. They cared for each other, and uh, I thought that was going to go a little bit more twisted in some way. But uh, that kind of almost went more mundane. It almost like started to make her make the whole thing more and more and more and more mundane. Whereas I was, I was taking it a little bit further. I was taking it more into the metaphysical or it was like, uh, Rachel Amber was going to be more of the symbolic thing that was going to like 
she is kind of threading all this together and guiding this along and so maybe she is trying to bring she's gonna she's like some their spirit or there's some energy there is trying to make call like take us to chapter five and then that will still come to a head somehow symbolically i don't know it's more like the drawing the moth to the flame and the amber like J amber racial amber simplified uh, signif she's almost like a beacon to me at this point oh and then chloe being drawn to Am rachel amber was like her beacon the moth butterfly well, close enough <laughs> to the flame that doesn't really work that way with butterflies. I don't think so. But uh, anyways, and then there's the light tower being that uh, like a flame, like a beacon, drawing people in. Yeah. Oh, thanks for crying. <laughs> okay, so let's see what these, uh, let's see what we got here. We got, wow, I am shocked. It was that close. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's over, but it's like, it's close-ish. You accepted uh, Chloe's request. You let Warren beat up Nathan. Oh, a lot of people had some re reservations there. Good. I don't know where that's going to go, but that's likely going to go wrong. Uh, Chloe, you can let that happen, huh? Chloe killed Frank. I, you could because you take that paper out of his pocket. But a lot of people are like, nope, that one. Hmm. Chloe wounded Frank. Oh. Maybe after he closes the door and then you threaten him. And then he maybe you wound him and he has to give you the information like that one. And then no one gets hurt. I like that one. I like the way that panned out. And, it, you know, you learn more about his relationship with Rachel. So that it, again, like I said, grounds that relationship into something more. I mean, she was caught up in something and she was a drug mule. And I was like, that was like, was that a plant? Are they faking that? No, I think she legit. She was a drug mule and she was moving that stuff for him because she was in a relationship with him, you know, and she became uh, she got used for that. I just really turned yeah, turn that around for me. And then Victoria believed your warning. Really? So there's a way that she won't believe. Victoria didn't believe your warning. Oh, so I landed on that one. But I didn't have to rewind. <laughs> I was just rolling with it near the end there. Didn't do much rewinding, huh? And you didn't warn Victoria. 9% of people are just like, nah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, you saved the Blue Jay. Oh, a lot of people let that happen? Oh, I... <laughs> oh. I feel so bad because here's the thing. At one point, I passed over the plank again, and I, I saw that it said move. And I in my head, I was like, oh, I, I can move back. But then I was distracted talking about something or getting the photo, and then I moved away from the scene. Oh. That one hurts a little bit. Um, you got David's files in another way. You found David's code. Oh, so the code was on the, was out there? In the in the room, hmm. what was that? Huh? Well, all right. Well, I broke it. <laughs> Broken. Uh, Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Kate helped you find. Oh, yeah. Well, wouldn't that be like if she doesn't? If she's not here. Or is it, there might be another scenario where she doesn't help you. I don't know. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the vortex party. Why does that matter? You motivated Daniel to attend. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex party. Oh. I, I, I'm i having a blank here. I really, I don't even remember like <laughs> what this was. Anyways, you left a message on Warren's slate. Oh, what? People are like, nah. Oh, maybe they rewind, rewound it because it was a little bit more affectionate or implied that there was some interest. For me, Max is just, she'll just roll, she's just trying to discover that. And that's, that's my Maxine is that she's not, she's just going to roll because she's, she's in. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I'll see what happens with the story. If it allows me to do that or not, that's fine. I'll, I'll roll with it. But it did. It, it did allow it. you to go both paths. Um, so it's cool. Uh, you didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. Yeah, that one, that one, I don't know how I was typing that one wrong. It was the one that was circled. Felt like, why wouldn't it be that one? Unless I was reading the numbers wrong. But that, I'll find out about that when I'm done playing this game. I'm going to look that one up because that one bothered me because I felt like that typo was weird. <laughs> but look, I mean, most of us got to this point. So, not so weird. Uh, you helped Alyssa. Of course, why not? And then previous friend stats refresh. And we're done. Now, if I hit exit, we're going to check out see where this goes so the needle oh damn is Maxine in the room 
and then this is going to lead to just a clusterfuck of time. Buffoonery. Because she's going to be all wrecked and trying to control her power at the same time. I imagine that's going to be a mess. And that's going to be our chapter 5. Ready to show it. Getting us is. <laughs> that was good. So it's getting us right to that point. And then we'll. Yeah. Yeah. See what happens. Where's the tower? Where's the light? I mean, what's that? That's the school. The tower should be up on that hill, so it's already destroyed because it already took it out. Anyway, so that's it. That's a wrap for uh, Chapter 4. And um, I didn't think I'd play it all in one sitting, but I'm like, screw it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and uh, somehow I thought I'd be done a little bit sooner, <laughs> but it's really late now. It's a work night, and I got a call at 9 a.m. So I will uh, wrap up here, and I'll catch you in the next stack of episodes. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, everybody. Peace.